So I have a device called uh, the Retro. It's actually the Retro 2. And what it is is a USB device that not only allows me to plug in Super Nintendo controllers, um, two of them, or two uh, Sega Genesis controllers, but if I open up the top here, it also has Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis cartridge slots. Um, it can actually do more than that, which I'll get to after I uh, show hooking this up. But this is a device that I got that allows me to play my cartridges on my computer and also perform some various other activities. But this device here is really a really an awesome device. I've been following it for a long time since it was just like a it, it was just a PCB board with connectors on it. But as you can see right here, we have three different sites here. We have uh, retro.org, retro.com, and this one here is actually Dragon Box. It's, uh, I have it set to English. It's actually an overseas uh, company, but it's where I purchased mine through. And I did have, they were the only ones who had it in stock at the time I got it. I did have a little trouble getting it in. I got caught up in customs, uh, but Retro Box or uh, Dragon Box was real good and sent me out another one, and it didn't take long to get that one. Uh, but one of the nice things about this, it has a pretty good community. Then this goes back a long ways, like I said. Like here you'll see the device with uh, both a Genesis and Super Nintendo cartridge in it. It's not how it runs. You put one cartridge in at a time. But there is a ton of stuff here, and see if we can find a date here. Like Retro is back. That's back from 2015. I mean, this this goes back way before that even. Um, this is new to me, actually, just looking at this. Somebody has an adapter, it looks like, for uh, some of the uh, learning-type cartridges and stuff. Uh, OUYA plus Retro plus N64 plug-in. You know, if you know anything about the OUYA, that's pretty much a dead console. Um, I mean, it, it works, but you had to have be signed up. This is a great video where someone put a Raspberry Pi, but... Uh, and actually, this actually is a really great video. They uh, put a Raspberry Pi in here where when they put the cartridge in there and turns it on, it actually detects it like a like a console, kind of like a Retron 5. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I mean, you can see here there's tons of stuff here. Uh, it does have a shopping cart here. I don't believe you can do it through here anymore, but let's see, plug-in adapters. Here you can see there's PCB board layouts, all sorts of information. Uh, if we go over to Retro.com, this is a site I actually myself have not spent a lot of time on. Uh, it uh, has some nice pictures and stuff, though, on it here. Let's see if we can uh, enlarge one here. There we go. So it's just kind of showing how you can plug a controller in. Can't really see the uh, Super Nintendo one in there. but Yeah, so we'll get mine plugged in, and we'll see how that goes with uh, running it with... We're going to do Sega Genesis with Fusion. Okay, and then I got one of my Hyperkin six button ones here. And that's just the first one I grabbed. It's not that that one's the specific to it or anything. It's just I grabbed it. In fact, I don't believe the two companies have anything to do with each other. Genesis uh, cartridge here, uh, WWE Royal Rumble. Maybe we'll grab the case here. There we go. A little glary, but there we go. So we'll pop that in there. All right, and then I got the controls in here. And then what I'm going to do is just pop open my favorite emulator. If I can find all of it here. It's in my downloads folder, so I got to dig it out. All right, so we got Fusion there. Let's open up another window. File Explorer with the Retro. There we go. We'll have both those there. Let's get Fusion going. All right, so I'm going to reset the Retro. It's not seeing my Royal Rumble. There we go. Now it sees it. It's really not too hard to use. Uh, let's open up Fusion. Let's go to Options, Set Configuration, Controllers. Uh, we'll go to 6 button. We're going to go to Retro. Hit define, and let's see here, we got up. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't like that one, but it is seeing it. So let's go back to retro, go to the other end. Hit define, up, nope. We'll get it on one of these. Retro four, define, up, nope. 
Metroid 5, define. There we go. That's actually the worst part, because I don't ever know which one it is. All right. A, B, C, start, X, Y, C, mode. Where's mode button on here? Hiding up there. There we go. I'll just hit apply, even though OK we will do that anyways. And now we'll go to file, load Sega Genesis. And there's my bin in the retro file. I've already been there before. Uh, no pun intended on the bin. And that should load up here. And I just use Fusion. Um, whichever emulator should work. But yeah, this will load up here. But yeah, there you go. So yeah, you can see where I plugged in the um, Sega Genesis controller into the front. And I believe that was five. So that would make, so if you're looking at this in kind of like a sequence, it'd be four, five, six, seven, but there was only six. So that's one of the things I got to figure out still is like, why is that five? I guess I could label them. Um, but as you saw, it's not a big deal, at least with Fusion, because you can just keep being defined until one goes to the up position. Uh, one of the things I didn't show is it is just a mini USB to regular USB connection. Uh, but one of the things I do want to show uh, on the site that's up right now is the different adapters. And those were out of stock when I got mine, unfortunately, because you can buy a whole kit. Uh, let's see here. Uh, they sell a lot of stuff in here. It's actually really nice. But let's go down, see here. Uh, you'll see they got the EverDrive, a lot of stuff here. But I am looking for specifically Rush Pad adapters. And you'll see here, if I go under consoles, jump over here, they have a whole bunch of them. And you can buy them as a kit. Uh, let's get this in here a little bit here. So they have a whole a whole bunch of them here. Here you got the, uh, the N64 one. And this one, it looks like they changed it. You used to, when you got this one, it had N64 controller ports uh, right in the front of the cartridge itself, too. Now, that's a big deal. Uh, I mean... A lot of times, actually, my next video or within the next couple ones, I'm actually going to be using the same setup, but using a giant uh, like main arcade-looking controller through USB. So you don't have to use the controls that are on here. Uh, you also have the uh, the the plug and master. If you can't tell by the checkered design and everything, that that's your um, master system, uh, hence master. And then also behind there, you have your plug uh, plug in GB. And if you can kind of tell there, it actually has uh, the Game Boy look to it, which hence the Game Boy. So you can get a lot of adapters for it. Uh, those there can also be bought uh, with a uh, combination. At least it used to be able to be bought with a combination, but this is the site I got it on. It's not the only site out there. Uh, there are other ones. Click on console games there, and you'll see they sell a whole bunch of them. Uh, these are actually, this whole Hyperkin lineup is pretty nice. I have all those, and they uh, work really well through HDMI, but you know, I've, I've had the retro in other past videos. Um, I have been questioned on where I get my ROMs. I don't really talk about ROMs too much, except uh, there might be a video where I'm actually where I'm actually using this, getting ROMs off it. Um, but uh, I try to, you know, I stick to my games and things like that, mainly because it, uh, well, you know, piracy's piracy bad. Uh, it's not good. Uh, but this is actually a really nice device for things if I want to put something on the go. Uh, this is actually how I got the uh, Michael Jackson Moonwalker from a few videos ago onto uh, my phone when I did a... Uh, um, was that on my phone? It might have been on my computer, I can't remember, but it, it doesn't matter. I was doing a review on my six-button uh, RetroFlag USB controller for the Sega Genesis, which will actually work with the Genesis Mini also, uh, since that only comes with a six-button controller. And... That's primarily what I use, but if I need to get a game that I own, this is what I put it on with. But, uh, yeah, other than that, just thought I'd share that. I thought it was a nice device. Uh, I really do suggest looking over, see if I can get to it here, the retro.org. Uh, there, there's actually a really good, um, just a really good overall history kind of on everything, too. Uh, just for the fact that 
it has been around for a long time. I wish I could find the old one here, but if you dig around there, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Uh, maybe it's under about the retro. Uh, but there was an older, um, I'll call it the steampunk look. It was, uh, I actually thought it was pretty pretty cool. On there, they're even kind of suggesting Fusion. Uh, that's good there. You got different firmware. You can update the firmware. Uh, looks like there's a bunch of different things here. Um, yeah, a lot of this has changed since I even looked at it last. But yeah, other than that, uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, have a good one, and thanks.